Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be seeing how much CEX values my game collection. Now I don't have a particularly large collection of games, I've just got quite a few for lots of different consoles. I've got some for the Xbox One, some for the 360, some for the original Xbox, some on PC, I've got some for the Wii, I've also got some for PS3, PSP, PS2, PS1, and also some for the Nintendo DS. So today we will be going on the CEX website, putting in each game and see how much they value each of them at. I highly doubt I'm actually going to go with the offer and sell them. This is more just to see how much they value them at compared to how much I really did pay for them. I'm guessing the values will be quite low. Probably lots of them will be about 10p at the best, so not really something that I am going to do, but it will be interesting to see what they think. And if you do like this video, please do subscribe because in the future I will be doing another video just like this where I see how much they value each of my game consoles. So without messing around, let's get started by seeing how much they value my Xbox One games at. Okay, so here are the Xbox One games. I've got six on disc. I do own more, but they are downloads, so I can't really sell those. So we've got Watch Dogs 2, Watch Dogs 1. We've got The Crew, Forza Motorsport 7, Forza Motorsport 6, and Forza Motorsport 5. I've got them all in the cases. They are all in very good condition, but I don't really think that matters for the valuation. So let's look up on the CEX website and all we have to do is search for the game. So let's search Watch Dogs 2. I've got it on the Xbox One and I must specify that we are looking at the cash value. I'm not interested in vouchers, I'm interested in cash. So we buy for cash £1 but mine is actually the gold edition. Do they have the gold edition on here? Doesn't look like they do, so I guess I'm going to have to just go with the standard. So I want to sell that item and they will give me £1 for it, which quite frankly is not a lot, but that's how much they are going to give us. So I've now added that to the basket so we can go over to that once we are finished. The next game is just the original Watch Dogs. This is just the standard one, so let's just search for Watch Dogs. And it is the Xbox One one, and they will buy it for 60 pence, which, yet again, is not a lot, but that is not what we're interested in. We just want to know if they will buy them, and they will indeed buy that. So I have added it to the basket. Next up is the crew. This is just the original crew. So let's search for that and they will pay 70 pence for the crew and they only sell it for three pounds. That is not a lot. I think this was about a 50 pound game when it came out. So that has gone down in value quite a lot. So I want to sell that and they will give me 70 pence for that. That is now in my basket. Next up is Forza Motorsport 7. And they will actually give me £5 for that, which is more than I thought. This was, again, a £50 or £60 game when I got it, and they will only sell it for 12 So I want to sell that, and that has now been added to my basket. Next, Forza Motorsport 6. This is, of course, older than 7 so I'm guessing they will give me less for that. Yep, they will give me £3 for that, but let's add that anyway. And next up, Motorsport 5. Yet again, it's older, so they will give me less again. Yep, they will give me £3 for that. And that is all the Xbox One games. Let's take a look down at the basket to see how much they have put the value at so far. So, so far, if I want cash value, they will give me £13.30. But if I want it in exchange value, it will be £21.80. So there is quite a difference there, but I would just want cash. But let's carry on and I'll get some more games. So I do have quite a lot of Xbox 360 games. This is not all of them. They just won't all fit on my desk at once. So we will have to do a few of these at a time. This is F1 2010. And apparently it cost me £3 or 2 for £5. I'm guessing it will be a lot less than that now. So let's search for F1 2010. And it looks like they're not even showing up 2010. So I'll have to go down 
try and find that. 2011, they would give me one pence for it, which is awful. Yeah, I can't actually see it in here, so it doesn't look like they would actually buy it. They would take 2011 for one pence, but they won't take 2010, so I'm guessing I can't add that. So my total next up is Dirt 3. Let's see that. Okay, so they will give me two pounds for that, so I do want to sell that. Next up, Dirt 2, I'm guessing this will be less. That is already down here. Dirt 2, they will buy for one pound and sell for four. As you can see, I bought it for six back in the day. So I want to sell that. That is now in the basket. Next up, Dance Central. This apparently cost £9.99 and they will now buy it for one pence and they would sell it for a pound. But we are going to have to go with that because I do want to see how much they will value all my games at. Next is just the original Colin McRae Dirt. So let's just search for Dirt and see if it comes up in here, there we go, 50 pence, I want to sell that. I've now got a few more games out, the first of which is Connect Adventures, so let's search for that. Connect Adventures, one pence, that is ridiculously low, but I guess if no one wants to buy it, they're not going to pay much for it. Next is Horizon 2 on the 360, not as good as the version on the Xbox One, but this is one I had to get at the time because I did not own an Xbox One yet. So let's search for that, specifically the 360 one. They actually sell that for £10 more than the Xbox One version, which is actually quite intriguing. So they would give me £7 for it on the 360 or 3 on the Xbox One. So it looks like having the worst version has actually paid off here. So yeah, I want to sell that. Next up is another Forza or Forza, depending on how you say it. I believe the correct way is Forza, but people get mad when you say that, but they also get mad when you don't say that, so you can't really win. But let's just search for that. Motorsport 4. This is the two-disc edition, so that is this. They will buy it for £1, so I want to sell that. Next up is Motorsport 3, so let's just put a 3 on the end of there. This is again the 2 disc edition, so they will give me 50 pence for that. And next up is Motorsport 2, so let's just put a 2 in there, will they buy that? They will indeed and they will give me 50 pence for it, not a lot but there we are. So I've got the next set of games out. This looks to be Need for Speed Pro Street. Can't really tell because there are so many stickers on it, but let's search for that. Okay, so this is the 360 version. They will give me 70 pence for that. Let's just go with that. Next up, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Again, 360, they will give me 70 pence for that. So let's move on. Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition and they will give me £6 for that, and they sell it for 15 I remember when I bought this, this was only 12 brand new, so if I was to sell this, I would only have lost £6, which, in terms of what CEX usually does, that is not bad going, so we will sell that for 6 Next up is Lips, number one hits. I've never played this, I got it with the Xbox. Here it is, one pence. Here it is, one pence. I guess we'll have to sell that. That is a poor show. And next up is just lips. I do have the microphones for these, but we're not going to look at trading those in today. And yet again, for this one, they will only give me one pence as well. But there we are. I'll now get the next few. So here is the next set. This top one, You're in the Movies, isn't actually a game. But it kind of is, and I've actually tried to sell this to CEX before, and they wouldn't take it, so I'm not even going to bother trying that one. Now, I do have the crew on Xbox 360 as well as Xbox One, so let's now look up the 360 version. The 360 version, they will give me 50 pence for, I want to sell that. Next up, Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. This is actually a great game, it's got loads of old games on it, and they will give me £3 for that, and they will sell it for 8 Next up is Sega Rally, I actually bought this from CEX at some point for £5, so let's see how much they will have for it now. Okay, so they now sell it for £4, so £1 cheaper, and they will buy it for cash off me 
for one pound. Let's go ahead with that. Next up, this is actually a really thin game. I think this came with Xbox Magazine. This is Table Tennis, and they will give me one pence for that. And if I had it on the Wii, they would give me 20 pence. So unfortunately, I've got it on the Xbox, so I will be getting less for that. And the final Xbox 360 game here is Need for Speed Undercover, and they will give me one pound for that. Okay, so now let's take a look at my original Xbox games and my games for PC. First, we'll start with the original Xbox ones, and we've got Colin McRae Rally 3. And for that, they will give me one pence. Not a lot, but we're going to have to go with that. Next up, I've got the original Forza Motorsport. Let's scroll down and find the original, if they even have it. Yep, here they go. They will give me 20 pence for that, and they will now sell that for £2.50. I actually only paid 75 pence for that at CEX a couple of years ago. Now we're on to the PC games. This is Farming Simulator 2013. It looks like I paid £2 for this, and they will actually buy that off me for one pence and sell it for two pounds. So they're still selling it for the same amount. I'm going to lose out on one pound ninety nine, but oh well, I need to sell it. Next up, Euro Truck Simulator 2. So Euro Truck Simulator 2, they now sell for ten pounds, which is four pounds more than what I bought it for, and they will buy it off me for two. So I will have lost out on four pounds, but oh well, that is now going. Next up, Trucking Collection. That's got quite a lot of truck games on it. Trucking Collection, here it is. They'll buy it off me for one pence. Not a lot. I don't actually remember how much I paid for that. Now I've got the Driving Double Pack. The Driving Double Pack, they will buy off me for one pence and sell it for one pound fifty. Let's go and do that. And that is all my original Xbox and PC games. Okay, so here are all my Wii games. So let's now take a look at how much will be accepted for these. This first one is called Off Road, and at some point it costs £12 pre owned at Game Station. I did not pay that much for it, I can assure you. So let's now search for that. Off Road on the Wii, they will buy for 50 pence and sell it for £2. So that is a lot less than what some poor person would have bought it for. So let's go and add that to our basket. Next up is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I actually don't know where this game's come from. I've definitely never played that. Jungle Beat, they will buy for £2 and sell for 5 So let's now add that. Next up, Michael Jackson, The Experience. And they will only sell that for 75 pence and give me one pence for it. That's not very good. Next up, Mercury Meltdown Revolution. I actually have never even played this game. I don't even know where most of these came from, to be honest. Maybe they came with the Wii when I got it, but they will give me one pence for that. Next up is Just Dance. I'm not sure which version this is. I'm guessing it's the original, if it just says Just Dance. And they will give me 60 pence for that. Yeah, I think it is the original. Next up, Wii Sports Resort. This is definitely my favourite game on the Wii. And they will give me £4 for that, and they will sell it for 10 It looks like it's actually kept its value quite well, so let's sell that. Of course, I'm not actually going to sell all of these. I will probably keep them all, and Wii Sports Resort is definitely one which I will be keeping. Next up is Wii Play, and it specifically says not to be sold separately, but let's see what they will buy it for. They will buy it for 50 pence. Next up is Wii Fit. They will give me 10 pence for that, which is not a lot yet again, but... There we are. Next is Sonic and the Secret Rings. I've actually tried to play this, but it was all in Russian, and I couldn't change the language, so that didn't go very well. They will give me one pound, so let's sell that. So the first one of my PlayStation 3 games we're going to take a look at is FIFA 12. And FIFA 12 on the PlayStation 3, they will sell for 50 pence, but they don't buy it anymore. I've not seen that before, so it looks like they won't accept that. So we're going to get nothing for it. The next is a Platinum game. This is the best of PlayStation 3, and it is Race Driver Grid. Let's take a look at this. It is the Platinum one, but it only looks like they've got the Platinum version of the Reloaded game. This is not, so we'll just have to go with the standard one, and they will give me 50 pence for 
that. Next up is Mod Nation Racers. This game is valued at £2 and they will buy it off me for 50 pence, so let's go with that. Next up is Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition. The Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition, they sell for £15, which is about what I pay for it. So that is pretty cool that it still has its value, but they will buy it off me for six, just like with the Xbox 360 version. So let's go ahead and sell that. Next is Lego Star Wars 3. They will buy that for £1. Next is Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, and they sell that for six and will buy it off me for two. Next up, Lego Lord of the Rings, and they will buy that yet again for two pounds, so let's go with that. Next up is Gran Turismo 5. This is a platinum one again, and they will pay 50 pence for that. That is not as much as I thought, considering this is a platinum. Next up is F1 Race Stars on the PS3. That is one pound, which is actually quite generous. I thought it might be something as low as one pence, but apparently not. And next up is F1 2012, and they will give me 70 pence for that. So I actually only have one PlayStation 2 game which is in its original case, so this is the only one I think I'm going to be able to value. I don't think they'll accept one which isn't in its case. So let's just search for this single game, Gran Turismo 3. They will give me one pence, not really worth doing, but I guess we'll do it anyway just to see what the grand total will be. And next up, are my PSP games. Here they are, and the first one is Test Drive. Test Drive on the PSP is valued at £3, and they will give me 70 pence for that, so let's go ahead and sell that. Next is Need for Speed Most Wanted on the PlayStation Portable is down here. They actually sell it for £6. I only paid £4.99 for it, so that's actually gone up, but of course, they will only give me £1.50 for it, so I have lost out on that. Next, Micro Machines V4. That they will give me 70 pence for, so let's go ahead with that. Next is Crash Tag Team Racing. This is a Platinum Edition. They don't have the Platinum on here, so we'll just go with the normal one. They sell for 10 They will give me 2 for it, so they are making £8 off that game. Next up is, I don't know because there's a sticker over it, but it says down here that it is from CX and it is Beta Racer. Here it is. They now only sell it for 50 pence, so it has halved in value and they will give me one pence. That is a pretty poor show, but considering it's only worth 50 pence, I would probably say that's quite generous of them. And finally is Ape Escape. This is, of course, the PSP version down here. They will give me one pound for that. So let's Go with that, and that is all of my PlayStation Portable games. So now let's take a look at the PlayStation 1 games. We are getting close to the end. After these, there is only DS games, and then we can look at the total. So the first one here is Theme Park World, and it's actually not even on their system. They only have it for PC and PS2, so we can disregard that. And also, Music 2000 is not on their system, so that is a pretty poor show, so those cannot be sold. Next up is Formula 198, so let's take a look at that. Yep, doesn't look like they're going to take this either, maybe they just don't do PlayStation 1 games at CEX anymore, but let's try the next one just to see. This is Evil Dead. Ah, they do actually have this. Now, there are two options here, Evil Dead Boxed and Evil Dead Mint. I wouldn't particularly say that this is either of them, but I guess we'll just go for the top one and they will give me £8 for that, which is pretty good. Now, this is a very good game. This is Action Bass. It's all about fishing, but CEX doesn't agree and it is not on their system. So, out of all that, we could not value them all, which is a damn shame. So now let's take a look at the DS games. So here are the final four games, and these are for the DS. I did have quite a lot more games, but I actually sold them all at CEX a few years ago, which probably wasn't the best idea, but oh well, that's what I did. And the first game here is Purr Pals. This is a legendary game. It's all about looking after cats. So let's search for this. And um, here it is, they'll give me £1 for it, and they will sell it for 4 but they also have Purr Pals Perfection here, 
for the 3DS. I didn't know they made another Purple's game, so I might have to buy that at a later date. I do thoroughly enjoy Purple's, even though it is quite a pathetic little game. So let's sell that, and they will give us one pound for it, although I'm definitely keeping this. Next is more brain training, and it doesn't look like they actually have that model. They've got just brain training, but not more, so we cannot give them that. And there you go, loads of dust coming off this. This shows you how much I use these games. Apologies for all the dust, but these are now the final two games. We've got Junior Classic Games. Here it is. They will give me 30 pence for that. And finally, Junior Brain Training. And they will give me 40 pence for that, so there we go. And that is all of the games. So now let's go down to the I want to sell section and view that basket. So here are all of the games with their values, their cash values, their exchange values, their cash total, and their exchange value. So let's go all the way down to the bottom. We've got 60 games in here. Let's go all the way down and we will pay you £79.53 or 126 and 9 pence. So that is actually more than I thought. But considering that we gave them 60 games and they're going to give me about £80, it means that's about an average of £1 something per game, which is actually quite low if you think about it like that. But considering they would give me nearly £80, I'm not too sure that that is particularly bad. Of course the whole point of trading things in at CEX and places like that is that it's just an easy thing to do. If you wanted to sell all of them individually on eBay or something like that you probably will make more money but this is more just about the convenience. So if you just wanted to get rid of all your games in a quick way you could just pack all these up in a box and send it off to CEX and as soon as they've received it they'll give you a nice amount of money. Again, you could get more if you sold them all by yourself, but I think that it's not too bad that they let you do this. Okay, so before I end this video, I've done a little bit of maths and worked out how much CEX would sell each of these games for. Now, if you remember, the value that they said that the games had and how much they would give me if I wanted cash and not a voucher was £79.53. And I've worked out how much they would sell all of the games for and they would sell them all for 262 pounds and 75 pence so they are making nearly 200 pounds profit off those 60 games so you can think what you want about that whether this is a scam or not as i've already said it's about the convenience if you just want to get rid of them all they'll give you about £80. If you want to sell them all individually at the price that CEX values them at on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or wherever, you'll make close to £200 more. £262.75 to be exact. That is a lot more than I thought it would be, but that will now be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was interesting in some way. I'm surprised to see just how much profit they are making off those and it's definitely changed my opinion on whether I will use them again to sell things. I think from now on I will probably just sell games myself and of course as I said at the start of this video I will be doing a similar video to this but about my games consoles and I'm guessing the story will be about the same but I guess we'll just have to see about that so thank you very much for watching this video I will see you in the next one goodbye